Hello, this is from Tesla Owners US, and today I have something for you. My Starlink antenna finally arrived after 10 months. Actually, it's a short time for Tesla or SpaceX on delivery time. And I'm going to unpack that with you, install it, and tell you Alice everything about it after the intro. Wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. We know what we have, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for. Let's unpack that guy and let's see what's coming out there. We're gonna take that out of the box. And there is a huge space axe on it. And from here, this is all plastic. This is the stance for that. And here's another piece of plastic. Here is the antenna. This is already the new design of the antenna. And there's a little drawing there, how to install it. And a whole bunch of cable. This is the receiver, probably. And here is the power cable that comes with it. Let me show you that when I have this untangled. That is the receiver for the power, the power for the receiver for this one. And then there's a whole bunch of cable there. And let me get this cable out there as well. Yeah. And that seems to be RJ45 cable and a whole long of distance RJ45 cable. And I will tell you where that is going to all be coming in. Actually, here's the power connection for that receiver. And the other one is the RJ45 connection. And let me go see if I can disconnect that as well. Yes. Oh, you know what? That looks like almost like the USB-C, but we're going to find out what that is. It's probably another form of wire to the cable here. Okay, we're going to look at the instruction and I'll tell you a little bit more. Okay, guys. So instead of putting it there to the roof, what I just showed you, I installed it here on my shed. And this, this piece is pivoting on that. And yeah, there was already a stance for that and I just bolted it pretty firm to this one. And uh, the only thing what I have to wait for, I have to adjust it on my phone and I have to do a recording for that when I adjust it on my phone. So that should be easy. Now, this going currently through my yard, but what I want to do that for current also is later, if I have the right thing, I want to put it on the roof. So guys, the setup was <laughs> really easy. So you take the phone, you take the uh, Starlink app, then you do a setup, then it looks at uh, uh, the network, then it comes a pop-up that you have to rename the network to the new wireless network. Wireless is all integrated, it's actually an integrated router. And then you start with the uh, connection. So you name your network, my network called Ad Astra Mobile. So to the stars, mobile, <laughs> like the school from Elon, because it is to the stars, right? So, and then you actually uh, give it the password, uh, hopefully a pretty good one. And then it creates a network there, actually a Wi-Fi network. And then you can connect your devices to, and it shows also which devices are connected to this. Then you can do a visibility. There's a visibility check so that the system is checking for the next 12 hours about the visibility. Then 
well, basically for obstruction or not, then there is a statistics, uh, what, how much you have run, how much milliseconds, how much usage you had, and so on. And then the last one is there's a speed check, and I double checked the speed check with a speed test, and it's really actually very nice, it's awesome. And uh, I reached uh, one of the tests was really good with speed check. Uh, what I'm mostly interested in is in the upload speed because I'm loading videos up your videos, and 170 megabits download, 22 megabits upload. And I'm going to test it also in multiple locations. I'm just going to test it in a, this temporary location home. I may, might make it my permanent location. And then after that, what I'm going to say to all of the cable providers is, okay, you are done because you are so arrogant in the last years and you didn't give me any slack on the rates and so on. And I pay about more, almost more fee than the $99 here. And the antenna looks great, as you saw there, and uh, actually works great. So the next thing what I'm gonna test is when I go on a road trip to test it to multiple locations and see how that works. And uh, I'm gonna do that, and I will see how it involves. I, the, basically, the Starlink kit was shipped to me on 12.2 and it arrived about a little bit more than a week later and I just uh, made the de deposit on 2.10 so basically it was a 10 months delivery time. That's pretty quick for, for Tesla and then you go to your account and it, it checks where the location is. You can shop also additional stuff there and I might, might put some uh, pictures in there for uh, holders or where the wire goes through to your wall, uh, uh, for a stance, uh, for an attachment to, um, to panels, to roof, to the roof, and then also for uh, cable replacement, 75 feet, 150 feet cable replacement, and pipe adapters, and it's probably one of those pipe adapters I might have to order in order to put it on the stands there on top as a pipe adapter. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to order one of those pipe adapters that I have that, but I just want to, I was so excited that I have to gonna test it and start it. And especially I can show the big finger to the big cable companies. And it proves again, Elon is a big uh, disruptor. And it mixes up the whole cable industry. I can promise you, and I'm waiting for um, the shares coming out. There's going to be a big run on those shares because all of the cable industries and also the satellite providers for internet, they are so afraid of him because he can do it for a very comparable price, uh, for a good price, uh, or a competitive price. And, uh, and it's also a very good speed upload and download speed and latency as well. So that's what I want to show you from the internet uh, connections with Starlink. Uh, thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And I'll bring you more about that topic as well when I try it on different locations. Bye-bye.